What's going on in the Anchorage market moving forward? Are we starting to see signs of the market softening up? Are we expecting more of the same? Can we, ex in fact, expect to see prices to continue going up as we move forward? My name is Jamin Gurker. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams in South Central Alaska, and my mission is to help you to build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching when real estate in today. We're going to be taking a look at what's going on in Anchorage as far as the residential, the condo, and the multifamily market. Before we get started, though, give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I know a lot of you don't. It really helps the channel if you do subscribe. And let's go and jump into today's market update. The first thing I want to look at on the residential side is the number of properties that are actually available. So this time last year, there was approximately 380 properties that were available on the market. Now we're seeing it's about 330. So despite the inventory being really low the year before, it's actually a little bit lower now than it was the previous year. Now, the next thing we want to see on the residential side is what exactly is going on in the number of properties that have actually sold. Because this... This is pretty important if you're doing anything with, if you're working in the real estate industry, this is really important and it helps if you're the, a buyer or a seller just to know how much demand there is. So this time last year, there was about 330 properties that were actually sold during the month of October when we have all the most recent information. Now it's sitting at a, a lot closer to about 220. So we're seeing a pretty significant drop in the number of properties that have actually sold. We'll talk about why that might be in the summary. Now, the next thing that we see is the average sold price this time last year was about 424000 in Anchorage. Now, it's about 457000 which means that average sold price has actually gone up by about 7.8%. Now, this is interesting because the year before, we were sitting at about a 6.9% increase year over year. So not only are we seeing that the average sold price continues to go up, but we are in fact seeing the rate at which it's going up is going faster. Now we'll talk about why that might be in the summary. The next section of the real estate market we're going to look at is the condo market. Now in the condo market, we are in fact seeing that number of condos available has shrunken significantly. That's been the trend for the entire year and that continues to be the trend moving forward. This time last year, we had approximately 230 condos that were available on the market. Now we're sitting at about 80 or 90 condos that are available, which that is about a quarter or even less what we've had available on the market in previous years. The next thing that we see is the number of condos that actually sold took a bit of a dip, not by nearly as much as you would think, just by looking at the inventory that's really shrunken down. So we see that this time last year, about 116 condos sold on the market. Now it's 99. So yes, there are less condos that have sold, but proportion to how much the market has shrunk, not as much as you would think. So that's kind of promising as far as the, the condo market goes. Let's take a break real quick. If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you do know that I focus primarily on the South Central Alaska area. And while that's going to remain the the case moving forward. We are actually going to be partnering with our colleagues across the entire state to bring you market updates for what's going on inside the markets of each one of the big market centers here in the state of Alaska, looking at Fairbanks, Kenai, Homer, Kodiak, and Juneau slash the Southeast area. So this is going to be a very exciting project called the Trailblazer Project. I've not seen this done in any other state before where we are bringing you all the market updates for the entire state under the roof of one channel. So this is going to be um, a lot of fun. So when you guys are seeing market updates coming from, you know, people who aren't just me on the channel, you know what's going on there. If you guys are really nice, then we might actually be able to convince some of these folks to actually provide some more content and talk specifically about what it's like living in their market. So when you see these videos pop up, make sure to jump over there, give them plenty of likes, plenty of love, give them lots of comments. And yeah, just know that that's a, a fulfilling kind of the mission we still have on the YouTube channel to help you build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching you in real estate, whether that be in South Central Alaska or anywhere else in Alaska that we have our colleagues in at the moment. So just want to make you aware of that and let's go and finish today's video. Now, the next thing that we see is that the condo market, the average sold price has gone up. Not as much as you would think though, just by looking at the number of um, the shrunken inventory and kind of the demand out there for condos right at the moment. So average sold price this time last year was about 230. Now it's 241, which means that the average sold price last year was about 6.4. 
Now it's 4.6, so it continues to go up, not really at the same rate that it was going before. The reason that people get condos is usually not that they're trying to find like the asset that's gonna appreciate the fastest. Condos are really good because there's a lot of uh, maintenance and there's a lot of stuff that's just taken care of for you. And so that's really the reason that people get it. When it goes up and appreciates, it's just kind of a bonus. So, you know, that's, that's doing pretty good as far as condos are concerned. Now, let's go ahead and take a break real quick. I'm actually really excited to, to let you guys know about a development that uh, we're adding here to the channel. Um, just recently, I decided, hey, we need to start providing market updates for you know what's going on across the entire state and not just South Central Alaska. And we're actually bringing on about four or five new agents that can actually give their market updates about what's going on in very diverse markets such as Fairbanks, Kenai, Homer, Juno, and Kodiak. Um, all these big, you know, local markets here in the area. So, you know, be looking for those in the next couple of weeks here. And I'm very excited to be introducing everyone to you in the, the following weeks. And yeah, I think you all are really going to like everyone that we are teaming up with to make this service available for you. Now, without further ado, let's go and finish up today's market update though. Now, the first thing we're going to look at in the multifamily market is going to be exactly how many properties are available on the market. So this time last year, it was 137. This year, it's 60. So significantly smaller pool than what we saw the year before. The next thing that we see is the number of properties that actually sold in the multifamily sector went from about 50 the year before to 32. So you know, again, that is a drop proportionally, not by as much as what we're seeing the inventory drop, because there's always going to be a baseline of, of properties, whether it be condos, residential or multifamily, where they're just not going to sell. So I'm, you know, actually looking at that and thinking that that shows me that there's still some pretty good demand out there, but we're probably just hitting that level where a lot of the stuff out there might be kind of the lemons at this point, not necessarily all of them, but that's just might be what we're seeing right at the moment. Last but not least, we see the average sold price in the, in the multifamily market this time last year was about 500,000. Now it's about 513,000. So I, I really have a hard time seriously looking at the multifamily market here in Anchorage or really anywhere and using the average sold price as any kind of a strong metric just because multifamily includes everything from the little duplex all the way up to the commercial 30plex property. So it, it really does cover the entire gambit. But what we are seeing is there does continue to be an increased demand for these multifamily properties. Uh, we'll see how the interest rate starts to impact that, but with the rates going or with the rents going up, it does make these these multifamily properties more valuable if if the landlord has been good at keeping up with the market and maintaining the property. This is something that I've seen with a lot of landlords lately where they're seeing the residential market and they think, oh, well, it's gone up nearly 10%. That means my property is now worth $40,000 more. No, your value is based on how well you've kept up with the market. Uh, market rates in the area. If you are still 200, I've seen some properties where they are legitimately $250 below market value per unit. Then no, you're not going to be getting full market value. That's going to be a headache for someone to go in and take care of, and you're not going to be getting top dollar for it. So overall, what is the what does it look like we have moving forward? Well, as we know before, inventory does remain pretty low. We are in fact seeing the demand is starting to slide back a bit just with the increase of interest rates. If you are looking at getting your property sold, this is probably going to be about the best time we can do it in the next couple of years. I don't know for sure what the feds are going to be doing with the interest rates, but of course that will start to have some effect on the demand. Now, if you're looking at buying and you're thinking, hey, I'm just going to wait till everything collapses and I'm going to get a deal, may happen, may not. I kind of doubt it just because the inventory does remain so low. Now, if it suddenly switched and we had a ton of inventory all of a sudden, then that could be different and we're probably going to see a big shift there. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't think that we're going into an adjusting market here at all. You know, I think that what we've had the past couple of years is not very realistic at all. And we're going to start seeing some some changes and we're going to start seeing some realism brought back to the market in the way of just how quickly you can increase the, the prices, how much you can ask for properties without doing anything to them. So I suspect we're going to start seeing some changes as far as that goes. But as far as just the bottom falling out of the market up here in Alaska, probably not just based off of what I'm seeing. It could always be wrong. You know, we do our best just to report the information we have at the moment. And um, if trends continue as they are at the moment, I don't particularly see a you know, big shellacking happening in this market anytime soon. I believe it will start to become 
more difficult if you are in the industry because there's going to be fewer deals to go around. And you're going to see a lot of agents leaving the market just because, hey, I guess this isn't easy money like, like we were advertised. And you're going to see lots of that going on. And I think you're going to see more and more price reductions, not necessarily because the bottom's falling out of the market, but you know more because what we had before was unrealistic. And now people are having to start to get more realistic. But, you know, let's say we're looking at a property that's four hundred thousand dollars. You know, last year, if things kept increasing at the rate it was going, it would have been worth four forty this year, but it's slowed down a little bit. So now it's only worth like four twenty or four thirty. Still an increase, just not by as much as it was before. So I sure hope that makes sense. This is obviously going to be contingent on the particular area that you're looking at, also the, um, the particular property. So feel free to reach out to me if you do have any questions. And again, be looking for some of our partners across the entire state that's going to be coming up here in the next few weeks. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.